All right, uh, I, look, I was very pleased to win the game. Um, you know, we played a very good basketball team, and that's why we scheduled them. You know, for us to, you know, they, they played two games last week, and they scored 82 on Loyola and scored 79 on DePaul. So, you know, for us to hold that team to 46 points, I was really pleased with our defense, and I thought the energy was great. And, you know, the, the way, especially there was a lot of switching, you know, the way their team was, all those dribble handoffs. And I thought our guys really communicated well, uh, especially in the first half. Um, you know, obviously offensively, uh, to me, it's not, it's not very different than, than any teams I've ever been a part of the first time you play in from fans. You know, guys want to do well. You know, they're excited. They're a little nervous. They're anxious. You know, I thought we missed free throws. We missed some open shots. You know, we'll, we'll settle down. We'll settle down offensively. And, um, you know, and, and certainly Jershon, um, you know, getting hurt there with his cramps. You know, he, he cramped up a couple times. That hurt us, especially offensively, because we looked to him for offense. So, you know, overall, like I told the guys, like, <laughs> it's hard to win. And I don't care who you're playing, where you're playing them, what level they play at, it's hard to win. And for us to win, you know, by 11 points and play the defense we did, I was very proud of the guys. Any questions? Yes, Seth. How faster do you guys want to play? Well, I mean, we, what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to advance the ball up the court. Now, whether that means we shoot quick, you know, that, that's not always the case. But, you know, we don't have the jet quickness, you know, to be able, I, I don't want people trying to pick us up in the backcourt and trying to get into Trishan and Dave's legs, bring it up the court. I, I want to push it up the court. And if we have something early, I want guys to be able to shoot. If not, I want to run good offense. And, you know, I thought in spurts we did. I think our numbers were a little misleading because if you look the kind of shots we were getting in the first half, you know, we we're getting some wide open looks and, and we, we missed a lot of free throws. I think we missed six free throws. So, you know, I think some of that was misleading in terms of the quality of shots. I thought Lewis adjusted well in the second half. Their zone bothered us a little bit. You know, obviously we got to work on that in practice. We haven't, we haven't done as much zone work. Uh, we've been working mostly on our man-to-man -man defense. So I was glad they threw that zone at us. You know, we got some clips to, to, to work on. So, I mean, credit Lewis. It's not about us. You know, they, they're a good team. They're well coached. Uh, they're going to win a lot of games this year. And um, I, I'm excited we won the game. Was that stretch early in the second half how you envisioned the offense looking? Yeah. I mean, I thought we were getting good shots. I thought we were opportunistic with our transition. Um, you know, with foul trouble, I, I thought Alex kind of got neutralized. He got off to a really good start. And he got a couple calls early. We had to put him on the bench, and he could never quite get going again. We, we have to establish him in the paint. Uh, we have to find a way to get some points in the paint. You know, with, the, uh, with whether it be Alex, whether it be Drew, Jershon, we got to get into the paint. We got to get to the foul line. You know, that's, that's how good teams, you gotta, you're not going to make jump shots all the time. So you got to find other ways to score. And what did you say in that timeout with just under two minutes left right before Drew hit that three? Well, you know, we, we set up a play. Um, it actually, they took us out of the play, and the guys made a really good read uh, what we had drawn up in the huddle. You know, Lewis kind of junked up their defense and, and took it away, and, and Drew made a great read. And that's what fifth-year senior, that's what you rely on a fifth-year senior to do. He had a big shot. And I thought, you know, our guys, our guys were a little nervous offensively, and, and I'm okay with that. You know, it, it comes from a good place. They, they've worked really hard for six months, and some of you guys forget, I mean, when's the last game Jershon played with people in the gym? You know, when's the last time Crawford and Lumpkin's first college game and Taphorn's first college game? So these guys care, you know, because of that, I thought they were a little bit anxious uh, on the offensive end. What I loved was our defense was really solid. I mean, that's not easy the way they're doing all those dribble handoffs and weaving and little guys. And I thought our communication defensively was terrific. You know, and it was indicative. You know, we held them to 30% shooting, you know, which is a, you know, a, a great number for us. Is this how sweaty you're going to be after most games? I think so. I think so. Uh, I definitely need a shower. But um, look, I mean, I'm, I'm a competitive guy. Um, you know, I, I felt like my, our team, we, we needed some of that down the stretch. You know, we needed to dig in. I, I felt like our guys were getting a little tired, you know, and, and I, wanted to get, I wanted to be the one to kind of give them some energy. And, you know, you got to pick and choose your spots with it. You, you can't run up and down the whole game. But, you know, there's times when your team needs that fire. And um, certainly I'm, I'm going to do whatever it takes to try to win. You know, and that's, that's what we're trying to do. Along those lines, um, it gave up a transition layup, I think, yeah, yeah, late first half. And then it looked like you really gave it to them there. 
Yeah, I mean, I thought we had some sloppy, you know, we, we were really playing great defense in the first half, and, and, and I thought we had a stretch there for about eight minutes where they didn't have a field goal. And then, you know, we had a careless turnover. Sanjay threw it away on a rebound. And then, you know, we had, we, we, we had another turnover where we just, it, those live ball turnovers are deadly, you know, especially for us because, you know, we're not, we're not this ultra-athletic team. So if, if we turn the ball over in live play, there's a good chance the team's going to be able to run out on us. So, you know, we got we to gotta shore that up. I mean, we had 12 turnovers, which isn't terrible. Um, but, but, you know, we, we, we got to get better. I mean, it's November 6th. I mean, I, I, I didn't expect us to have a finished product. What I wanted the guys, I just wanted them to play their tails off. And, you know, I felt we did that, and, and that's the reason we won. What were your thoughts on Taphorn's game, and do you envision him playing mostly like a stretch four for you guys? He's going to have to, pretty much, you know, the way our team is, is put together. You know, I, I've, I've talked about it a lot in the preseason, but I feel like, you know, we have a lot of like hybrid type players, you know, with Lumpkin and Taphorn and Cobb and Crawford and Kale and different guys that can play that kind of three, two, three, four position. So really the way we run our offense, it's not, it isn't numbered, you know, it's kind of one through four is, is pretty much interchangeable. And then the, the two guys that kind of have a definite role are, are our two headed monster at center, uh, which were Alex and, and, and Nico. And I tell you what, Nico was the unsung hero of the game. You know, I thought his defense, he, he gave us toughness. He gave us physicality. He had nine rebounds in 22 minutes. And you look at his box score, and he didn't have a field goal. But you know, there's no way we would have wouldn't have we wouldn't have won without Nico's presence in there, especially on defense and rebounding. Coach uh, Drew only had two in the first half. Uh, responded well in the second. But how do you get him going earlier on? Well, I, I think for Drew, look, Drew Drew wants to Drew wants to be great, you know. And and I just think Drew, he, I think he was just going a little too fast in the first half. And you guys will get a chance to talk to him. I think that happens in the first game of the year. I mean, I played, I've coached. I mean, I've, I've had the opportunity to coach teams that have had six and seven pros that have gone 10, 12 minutes to start a game the first game of the year without scoring. You know, because they care, you know, and they, they've worked hard for seven months to get to this point. And, you know, the, the offense is, is going to be jittery in that first game. And I thought Drew settled down. You know, I tried to talk to him late in the first half, just relax, take a couple deep breaths. And I thought his game turned around when he started getting into the paint. You know, he caught a couple offensive rebounds. His first basket was an offensive rebound put back. He got to the basket. He got to the free throw line. And then he was able to hit some jump shots after that. What's the simplest way for us to describe your offense? Is it multiple or how do you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just, you know, it's a motion type offense. You know, it's, uh, you know, we, we're trying to get a lot of movement. You know, it's for us. You know, we're, we're not a heavy isolation team or a heavy pick and roll team that you see with a lot, of, a lot of guys. That's just not the makeup of our team. We have guys who can, can post. We have guys who can shoot. You know, we have those hybrid type players. So we're trying to get a lot of cutting. We're trying to get a lot of movement. And we're trying to be opportunistic and see how the defense plays us. And we have to get better. I mean, it's going to be a great tape. You know, it's, uh, I was, we played a, a really good defensive team that had good help side principles. They guarded us well. They were scrappy. And it's a really good learning experience for our guys heading into Saturday. You mentioned the two-headed monster with uh, Nico and Alex. Do you ever envision them, uh, envision a lineup where both of them are on the court at the same time? They could. They could. You know, the, the problem with that is, you know, we're, we're really thin with big bodies. And so, you know, you, you, you really worry about fatigue and you also worry about fouls, especially with the new rules. You know, I thought Alex, you know, it was our guys are still adjusting. You know, guys, they're calling more fouls. Um, our guys are adjusting to the way how much you can do, how much physicality you can have, you know, with uh, without fouling. And so, you know, there will be times when we're playing really big physical teams that they can play together. But I think most of the time you're going to see them probably split in minutes. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thank, All right. You. Thank you, guys.